Hey, what's up everyone? In this new lesson, I'm going to show you how to program the Arduino board using your smartphone so you don't need a computer to work with the Arduino board. You only need a smartphone and this cable. So this is called an adapter from type C to type A and it allows you to connect the Arduino board to the smartphone. This is an Arduino Uno that comes with this cable. It's the same one that we use for a printer. We connect this side to the Arduino Uno. And the other one, normally we plug it to the computer so that we can upload a code using the Arduino IDE. So the Arduino IDE is the program that we use on PC. But in today's video, we will use the smartphone Basically, we'll download an app that is called Arduino Droid. And it is an editor that we can use to write sketches and upload them to the Arduino board so that we can create some cool projects. You only need this adapter from type C to type A. So let's connect this side to the smartphone. And the other one to the USB cable that comes with the Arduino board. And as you can see, we can power it up. Also, we can upload any code from this app that I'm going to show you how to download. Luckily, it is completely free. We can open the Google Play Store. Then you need to search for the name. It is called Arduino Droid. Just write this name, Arduino Droid. And this is the app. Once you install it using the install button, we can open it up. And as you can see, we have an editor like the Arduino IDE. Under this section, we write the code. Then we have these buttons that we can use. And let's start from the left. This is the save button to save our sketches. The next button is called compile. We use it to check our code. If there are some mistakes, it's going to show an error. The next button is called upload. If you click on it, the code that you write will be uploaded to the Arduino board. Also, we have the serial monitor. So this button to open up the serial monitor. I'm going to hit OK to accept. We have this input field that we use to send some commands. Also, we can display some data under this window. If you don't know, we have a setup function that is called once and a loop function that is called over and over again. And if you don't know how to program the Arduino board, make sure to check out one of my previous videos. We've used the Arduino IDE. Basically, it's the same code. First, I'm going to write the setup function using void setup. And each program needs a loop function using void loop. The same thing, we open and close the parentheses and the curly braces. Every line of code that we write under the loop function is called over and over again. Unlike the setup function that is called once, we use it to initialize some variables or set some settings. And let's write our first sketch. Basically, we're going to make this LED blinking. We have this LED that is attached to the pin number 13. We can turn it on and off each second. To do that, first we set our pin mode. We give it the pin number, which is pin 13, and the output keyword. Make sure it is all capital, and don't forget the semicolon. Then under the loop function, we can turn it on using the digital write command. So let's add digital write. We give it the LED pin, number 13, and to turn it on, we use the high keyword. Then we can wait a bit using the delay function, like one second, which is 1000 milliseconds. The delay function takes the number of milliseconds. Then we turn it off using digital write. This takes the pin number 13 and the low keyword to turn it off. 
then we wait a bit again using delay and let's use the same time one second and this is our first sketch we can upload it to the Arduino board but before that we need to select the board from these dots then under settings we're gonna select Arduino then let's search for UNO for me it's already selected make sure to select that then we need to check our code using the compile button let's hit yes and once it's done we can upload it using the upload button but you have to wait a bit until the compilation is finished and yeah it's done without errors and let's hit upload again and there you go we have a blinking LED now you could create any of the projects that we have done recently using this app and you don't need a powerful computer to do that before I finish this video let's take a look at the other features of this app we have the serial monitor as I said and you could download some external libraries for example we can download the liquid crystal i2c library that we use to work with the lcd display that comes with the i2c module to do that you could go to these dots then under libraries manage libraries we have the installed ones and you could search for other external libraries under this tab first i need to open up the internet connection and yeah we can search from here for example liquid crystal i2c if you don't know how to use this library make sure to check out one of my previous videos i've talked about it in depth just search for this name liquid crystal i2c and yeah it's already installed but if you haven't installed it make sure to select this download button and it will be downloaded the same thing you could open up the examples of this library using these dots then sketches or sketch and let's go down here we have examples and library examples let's open one of the library's examples and user libraries like the liquid crystal i2c1 i'm gonna click on it and let's start with the hello world example and yeah we have the sketch you could also change some settings like the address of the liquid crystal i2c module for me it's not 0x27 it is 0x3f then we set the number of columns and the number of rows now we can upload the sketch before that we need to test it using the compile button and they said that we can't modify this sketch we need to save it as a new one you simply hit this button and let's give it a name like LCD modified and let's hit OK or this check mark and yeah the compilation is finished with no errors we can upload it using the upload button and there you go we have hello world and the name of the creator of the liquid crystal i2c library so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also consider subscribing to our channel that helps me a lot and i will see you in the next one